Greetings. This video is to demonstrate how to renew your practice permit in Alinity, CAPS Member Management System. First, navigate to the CAP website at www.cap.ab.ca. From there, click on the MyCAP login. You will be brought to a login screen. Enter your username and password. Your username is the personal email address that CAP has on record for you. If you forgot your password or you need to create a password, please click on the forgot your password link. You will receive an email with a password reset link and the subject line of reset your Alinity password. Once you have entered your username and password, click Login. You will be brought to the home screen of the CAP portal. Here you will see a section, Complete My Renewal for 2022-2023. If you are retiring or you do not wish to renew your practice permit with CAP, you must notify us. To do so, click on the Renew button under the heading that says Cancelled and follow the prompts. For the purpose of this video, we are going to renew a practice permit by clicking on Renew. The forms may take a few minutes to load. The first step in the renewal process is to update your profile information with CAP. Please carefully review this form and make any changes that are needed, such as any changes to your home, contact information. Anything with a red asterisk requires data entry. If you wish to add any spoken or written languages other than English to your profile, you can do so by clicking Add. You can select your language from the drop down or start typing to get your selection. At any time, if you wish to delete information that you may have entered in error, select the trash can icon. You will get to a header that says current employment and a section that says employment status. You will note this has a red asterisk by it. This means that this must be completed. This is a functionality of the Alinity system and you will not be able to proceed in the renewal process without making a selection. I am going to select regular employment in profession. You will see your employment details right below this. You must select yes or no if you need to, to the question, do you need to make changes to the above employer? If you do, select yes, and you can make your changes right, right here. For this demo, I am going to, going to select no. You can add additional employers by clicking on the add button and entering your organization. And you must select the organization from the drop down menu. If it's not available, please enter the organization name here. If you're registered with any other regulatory bodies, you must notify CAP. To do this, click the add button and enter the appropriate information. You can select from the drop down menu here, or if your regulatory body is not available, select other and you can type it out here. For this demo, I am going to select the College of Psychologists of Ontario. The effective date will be the date you last renewed your practice permit with that body. Please carefully read the parental leave section 
and determine if this applies to you. You must either select yes or no. I am going to select no. At any time, you can save this for later or withdraw the form and start fresh. If you are ready to move to the next step in the renewal process, click next. You will be brought to the continuing competence section of the renewal process. Please visit our dedicated continuing competence webpage on the CAP website for all information on completing this section. Once you have completed your continuing competence plan, select the next button to bring you to the final stage of the renewal process. You will be brought to the renewal form. You must fill out the professional liability insurance section and carefully read this part as liability insurance is at $5 million. Select your insurer from the drop down menu, enter your policy number and your renewal date. Complete every declaration by either selecting yes or no. If you select yes, you will have to provide an explanation and upload supporting documentation from your computer or phone. Once you have completed all declarations, click Submit. It'll take a few minutes for everything to load. Once everything has loaded, you will get an automated invoice, generated invoice. You can pay right from here by clicking pay. Once you have entered all your payment details, you will be brought back to the home screen where you will see your practice permit for the 2022-2023 fiscal year. From here, you can download your permit, you can download your tax receipt, and you can download the 2022 2021-2022 practice permit as well. You can also go to the button that says download registration, where you will see your registration history with CAP. Thank you for joining us on this demo. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at psych at cap.ab.ca or call us at 780-424-50. Seven zero.